Hey everyone and welcome in my Chandoms games. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create a simple enemy AI in Unreal Engine 5. In this video, we'll be setting up a basic AI system where the enemy will patrol, chasing the player and attacking the player. Now before we dive in, I wanna mention that if you're looking to build more complex and dynamic AI system, I recommended checking out the Unreal Behavior Tree system but we will not use it in this video. So let's get started and build a simple enemy that will make your game feel more alive and reactive. And let's get started. Okay, here I have a fresh third person project of Unreal Engine. Before everything, we import our zombie with the animation. So let's create a file, name it zombie. Let's create here another file model and another file animations and this is the right time guys to tell you that i opened a new discord channel dumbs games to keep everything related to this tutorial organized so after you enter to the discord go to resource and here in the ai tutorial you will find the file of the zombie with the animation and the screenshots of the blueprint that we will use in this tutorial so after you download the file you will find the zombie character with his own animations or if you have your own character or you want to import a character from Mixamo, I have a tutorial here explain how to import the character with animation from Mixamo. First, let's import our zombie model. Click import all. And here, as you see, I have my zombie. We go back here to animation and I have here four animation for ideal, walking, running, and zombie attack. Here in skeleton, select our zombie. Click import all. And now we have also the animation of ideal, running, walking, and zombie attack in our project. First, we need to create a blueprint character. Right mouse click, go to blueprint class. Here, select character. Let's name it, for example, II Zombie. Open it. Now we add our zombie mesh. Go here to mesh. And in skeleton mesh, select our zombie. Adjust the position. Now let's start making the roaming system. First thing, go to event graph. Delete everything here and let here begin play. Let's create a custom event and name it zombie roam. Now let's add our zombie in our scene. We want to make a system that makes the zombie go to a random point in this map. To do this, we have a node in Unreal Engine which is called move IA2. Here in pound, Select self, which refer to the zombie or to our character. Here in destination, type here get actor location, which is referred to the zombie location. And type now get random reachable point radius. And here type, for example, 1000. And 500. This number here means the distance that the zombie can reach or the point that zombie can reach in the map. And plug this in destination. And we want when we start our game, the zombies start patrolling. So here we call this function in the begin play zombie row. Let's save. We need one more thing to make the zombie walk or the enemy walk in Unreal Engine, we need to add one more thing, which is the volume mesh. So go here, in volume, add nav mesh bound volume. You see this box here? If you don't see it, press G. Adjust the box in the area where you want your zombie to walk. Let's make the whole map. And to preview this, let's click P button. So you see here, the green area is the area where our zombie can walk. Now let's press start. So as you see here, the zombie starts walking, but he stop. 
and we want him to every time he reach the point he keep patrolling so let's recall this function here on success this means when he reach the point want him also to start patrolling let's test now so as you see here but he will never stop walking if we want to make him stop before he start patrolling again here just add a delay and let's make for example the zombie will stop for two seconds before he start patrolling again and let's start now so as you see the zombie walk stop two seconds and after that keep patrolling now we have only the zombie mesh in our map let's add some animation and change the animation depending on the walking speed of this zombie so we need to create a blend space and an animation blueprint to add it to this character let's create a new blend space go to animation here in legacy blend space 1d here select the zombie skeleton let's name it blend space zombie open it here in horizontal axis let's put the name speed minimum value is 0 and the maximum value let's change it to 600 what does it mean is the maximum walking speed of the zombie go back to your zombie character here in character movement here in character movement walking you will find max walk speed 600 so the number that you put it here put it here in the animation blend space and now we have our animation let's take the ideal animation press shift and put it in zero that means when the walking speed is zero the zombie will stand take the walking speed and press shift put it in the middle this means when the speed walking is 300 the walking animation will play and as and the same we do for running press shift also and 600 preview your animation press ctrl and c so in in smoothing time put 0 0.2 to make it a little bit smoother save exit now let's create our animation blueprint right mouse click animation animation blueprint select your zombie skeleton and let's name it animation blueprint zombie when you open it here you will find in assets browser your blend space or the blend space that we are created take it and put it here here in speed let's promote this to variable and let's compile now the animation will change depending on the speed let's put for example here 300 our zombie is walking 600 our zombie is running and zero he is standing now we want to control this speed value depending on the zombie max walking speed so to do that press here in event graph try to get pawn owner let's cast it to our zombie to ii zombie here in our zombie we have the component character movement so type here get character movement type get velocity and type also vector length to get the speed in a float value and take the animation speed type set plug this here and plug this here compile and that's all about animation blueprint now let's close the animation blueprint go to your character here in viewport press on your mesh and in animation anim class set your animation blueprint zombie let's compile save and now and now let's test our scene so as you see here my zombie is running so that's it for patrolling system now let's make the zombie chase the player if he see him now let's open again our zombie blueprint let's make a comment here to keep everything organized let's name it patrol system now to make the chase system 
we need to add a component to our zombie blueprint go here to add type sense and add pound sensing this component has a lot of information here you can read them but we need for now only two things sight radius here to control the distance that the zombie can see the player or the palm and we need also to change here the vision angle let's make it for example 17 and the green area here is where the zombie can see the player or the other pawns so let's make the angle 17 if you go down here make sure that C pawns it's on and here in event you see on C pawn click on it and to make the zombie chase the player we'll use the same function here so type I, I move to here in pawn let's type self now we will not use the destination but we'll use the target actor get player character and here in acceptance distance is mean the distance that the zombie will stop when he is near the player so let's change this to 17 now if we compile and test the problem now is that zombie will always chase the player infinitely so we need to fix this Go here, add a sequence. And here, add retrigger or retriggable delay. If you go to pawn sensing, you will find here in sensing interval that is 0 0.5 seconds. That means the zombie will check if he see the player every 0 0.5 seconds. And here we need to put a number greater than 0 0.5 seconds so let's put for example one second and here we add what the zombie will do if he's not seeing the player so if he's not seeing the player we want him to patrolling again so let's call the function zombie roam here again let's compile and test so the zombie is following me and now if i'm hiding or if I'm behind him, he starts patrolling again. Okay, let's say for example you want your zombie to walk, and if he see the player, he starts running. To do this, it's very simple. Go to character movement, and let's change his, the maximum walk speed to 300. And now, when he patrolling, he will patrol with 300 speed. And if the zombie see the player, the movement speed will increase. So, take the character movement and type here set maximum walk speed to 600. Plug this here and plug this here. And let's copy this and paste it here. So, when the zombie lost the player, the walk speed will return to 300. And let's compile, save and let's test. Okay, now the zombie is walking and patrolling and he, if he see the player, he starts running. And that's it for patrolling and chasing the player. Okay, the last things now is the attacking system. So let's open our zombie blueprint, go to event graph, get a new variable and let's name it can attack make sure that the variable type is boolean no by default the can attack compile by default the can attack it's false so when the zombie see the player this will be on so set attack player to true and now if the zombie is near the player by this distance we will check first if the can attack it's true or false so let's make a branch you can make a branch by typing here and the B button or you can directly type here branch and now if the zombie can attack we take can attack and set it to false and here let's create a function or a custom function and name it attack and we call here our 
let's talk function let's make a comment here to keep everything organized press C after you select and let's name this chase player now in this function we need to do what the zombie will do if he's near the player I want him to play the attack animation that we imported in the first of the video so type here play montage or play anim montage the target is self and here select the attack animation it won't be here because it's not an animation montage so you need to go back to your animation here in zombie animation and the zombie attack let's click by right mouse click here create create anim montage and now we have the animation montage and before add it here we need to go to our zombie animation blueprint in unreal engine we can't play the animation the animation montage directly so you need to go back to anim graph and here before the output pause add a default slot so that can the animation montage play and now in animation montage select the zombie attack montage and remember here we turn off can attack we want after the animation completing we turn can attack again to true now let's compile now the zombie is walking if he see me he start chasing me and after that he's attacking me but as you see here there is a problem with the animation so to fix this go back to your character blueprint here in attack let's type do once so if the zombie attack the player he will play one time this animation and he will waiting to the finish of the animation and turn on attack again and take this and put it to reset type two times here and put it like this now if we compile and we test i want to tell you also something look here the rotation of the zombie it's direct let's make it smooth in your character blueprint select ii zombie here in type rotation and here turn this off use control rotation yo and orient rotation to movement turn this on compile if we test now it will be smooth the last thing i want to talk about if you see here when the zombie attack me look there is a bug with the camera so to fix this and this is the last something that we do in this tutorial in event begin play of the zombie here type set collision response to channel and select here mesh here in channel select camera and your response let it ignore compile and let's test now okay now i have the zombie walking the rotation smooth he start chasing the player and now he is attacking me with no box thank you guys i hope this tutorial was helping you subscribe like comment to support me and see you in the next video